Right guys, uh, Greg and I are freezing today because it's like 36 degrees outside and it's middle of the day and that's not normal for Georgia. <laughs> I was going to try to sit totally still, but it didn't work out. So, uh, but you know what cold weather means? It means boost, boost weather. weather. <laughs> exactly. His baby mama car crib is bigger than his. You will see him on TV any given Sunday when the Super Bowl and drive off in a Hyundai. She what do you mean? You're representing me now. What you think? I'm going to let you roll in a Hyundai? Yep. Today we are in my new 2011 Hyundai Genesis Coupe. This is the 2.0 turbo and um, I would have never ever thought that I would have bought a turbo. I mean not a turbo, but a Hyundai. Uh, definitely turbos. But but a Hyundai, I would have never thought, you know, when these things first came out years ago, nobody wanted a Hyundai, right? Unless you just wanted a cheap car that was a throwaway car. Um, but now Hyundai's really stepped up their game. It's pretty amazing, actually. And I remember when the Genesis came out in 2010, when I first saw them, the 3.8 was a Mustang contender. I mean, it was 305 horsepower, and pretty amazing. And uh, for this, I really wanted a four-cylinder turbo. You know, um, I wanted something that uh, would be kind of cool like that, and not just have a V6, but actually have a turbo to play around with and still get pretty cheap gas uh, mileage. And this thing makes some great turbo noises. Like it's, it's a lot of fun to drive. It's, uh, it's pretty peppy. I know the, the first ones didn't have, you know, a ton of power, but this one actually feels pretty good. It, uh, it moves out pretty good. And you know, like this is third gear, full throttle, and it's pulling pretty hard. And we're going uphill. And we are going uphill. And you can hear the blow off valve. This has the HKS blow off valve on it. Um, which has a super cool sound, very, very old school. Um, that's on there. It does have a cold air intake that's, that's built in um, to it. It's aftermarket. Um, it does have some, uh, I guess, J2 engineering uh, exhaust, which I don't know much about, but uh, it does seem to sound pretty good. It's got a pretty good sound, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. nice, nice, mellow, yeah. um, it's not, not anything crazy, crazy loud. <laughs> thing does not sound like there's a cop that's a up here at the church <laughs> it does not sound like a turbo at honda though it, it has a different sound than that it, uh, it actually sounds kind of like an aggressive european sound almost mm -hmm. and what's neat about this motor is uh it's really this close to the same as an evo so it has an evo 10 um, the motors share a lot of similar similarities uh, Hyundai, Mitsubishi, and Chrysler all work together on uh, creating this uh, this design, um, and uh, it's it's a really good motor. I mean, overall, it makes pretty good horsepower um, with a high test. I think it was like 230 right in there, which is not bad, and like 230 something on torque. But it makes that torque at 2,000 uh, RPM, which allows you to do stuff like this. <laughs>
it's spooling up, a lot of airflow, and the truck pulls out right in front of us. <laughs> it's okay, he's got out. He's handicapped. Kind of <laughs> so let's do it. I don't even know if you can hear all that airflow, but you can hear the blow off going off. Turbo noises just make everybody happy. If they don't, then you've got. You probably need to check your pulse because I don't know if you're alive. Because the turbo noises are amazing. Um, even if the car's slow, they're still yeah, great. Yeah. I had a Toyota Soar that was imported from Japan, yeah. and it really wasn't even that fast, but it was twin turbo, and it made great noises. Driving slow cars fast is way better than driving fast cars slow. So I'm gonna pull on to the own ramp here in this second gear. to the ground pretty good it runs out really good it's got lots of power um the rev match is so weird oh my gosh it's, it, it's so i haven't even driven the car and i'm sitting in the passenger seat listening to it rev match automatically yeah. for him and it's really weird I, I, something i would suggest i don't know maybe people uh, have figured out how to tune it out of the ecu if you actually take it to a tuner but it would be really cool if hyundai would have given it like an on-off switch yeah. <laughs> to where you can actually turn it off because being a car guy like Jordan uh, and you know driving some high performance stuff rev matching is, is an instinct almost and yeah. then it's trying to rev match for you so it's holding RPM up and then you're trying to rev match as well out of instinct and you end up redlining the car in between gears yeah so you end up having to just shift slower uh, than you normally would because it's doing a lot of work for you um, so that's the odd thing is there's kind of a delay that you have to figure out and I still haven't got it figured out yet. Another thing that's kind of odd is um, the uh, traction control. If traction control is on, you can't hardly drive this thing because it really it's it's pretty slippery. Well, it is cold outside. Um, but I'll tell you what, if you're just trying to floor on it and get in it, it goes nope and just, just dies. Um, with traction control off, you can drive it however you want and it does fine. Even if it slips the tire a little bit, it's it's okay. Well, and, and something else too, I think, and you brought it up earlier, how many how many pound feet of torque did you say it has? 233 at 2,000 RPM. Exactly, that's that's the caveat there, uh, is the 2,000 RPMs. People don't realize torque is what you feel. Torque is what breaks the tire loose because it's instant. Uh, 2,000 RPMs, that's very, very low in the RPM range, and that's in the meat of where you drive the car at. You know, some turbo stuff, it may make, and I'm, I'm, I'm just throwing a number out there. If it's a, an LS turbo, for example, it may make 600 foot-pounds of torque, depending on what boost levels you're running, of course, but it makes it at five, 6,000 RPMs. So you're turning it up really hard and you're really revving high to get that. This, you're not turning the car hard in order to get to it. It's in that normal 2,000 RPM driving range. So uh, as Jordan said, you know, you, you get into it and it's there and you know if you step on it it wants to break the tire loose yeah, exactly yeah and it's it's pretty amazing i mean if you think you know i guess it's not that big deal since this is somewhat an evo motor um and evos are great performers i mean they're really good cars yes. being turboed and this does have the mitsubishi turbo on it. it's the tdo4 which was the same one that was on the Galant that we had and everything if you, if you think about it this way i mean this car weighs pretty much the same as the, our Viper, which is crazy, right? But the Viper, which is why it's so unpredictable, is because it makes 400 torque at 2,000 RPM, which is almost double the amount of torque at this, uh, but it weighs about the same. So this thing is actually probably, you know, it feels, it feels more easily controllable because it doesn't have as much power, you know? So that's, you're the reverse. As soon as you hit reverse, oh, really? it goes beep, it goes let you know that you're in reverse, not in first, so you don't back over somebody. So, um, <laughs> styling wise, um, a lot of people like the second gen Genesis better. I think the second gen looks like a Veloster, and, and that's fine, whatever, if that's what you want. I think the, the first gen actually looks edgier than, you know, and some people saw it look kind of feminine. Fem 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 feminine. 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 Um, <laughs> But uh, I'll tell you what, as far as that goes, uh, the Del Sol looks feminine, the S2000 looks feminine, and women love feminine looking cars. So if you want girls, get a feminine looking car. That's the way to do it. Um, 
I'm married, so it's great. Old, old, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we are definitely married with children. Um, not together. I mean, you know, it's, we're not it's, married. That's not like that. Two different children. Anyways, and two different wives. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, absolutely. I always thought whenever I was younger, you know, my dad builds hot rods for a living. My grandpa, you know, does a lot of hot rods. Jordan's dad does a lot of hot rod stuff, too. We're kind of brought up in it. And, uh, you know, getting a car, I was thinking, I'm going to get a hot rod. All the girls are going to love that. Yeah, that don't happen. Dudes love to check you out when you're in a hot rod. Yeah. And yep. I'm one of them. So I'll be, like, looking at you going, oh, man. You know. <laughs> so one of those things. Um, the uh, interior-wise on this car, it's it seems, I mean, it's all plastic but it seems fairly nice. Um, you can check it out. I mean, it's not a not a bad uh, interior at all. Um, the uh, the shifter feels real good. The, uh, you know, it's not as updated and nice and new as some of the newer stuff is, but, but overall, it's not a bad looking interior at, at all. Um, the seats are real comfortable. The seats are, are, uh, are you know, seem to be pretty nice for what it is. Um, and I think overall, this could be a great car. Um, I, I'm curious to see what all we're gonna be able to do with it in the future. I'm, I'm wanting to do, I've already got some ideas kind of brewing in my mind. I'm gonna try to change out the front grill and do some things. Um, these do have a small front mount on them. I may install a, a better one uh, in the future or do something like that, but I'm, I'm, it's, it really performs great. I might, might wanna lower it a little bit, do some cool body things to it or whatever, make it look cooler. Turn the rev match off. Maybe, if I can. <laughs> if we can. Yeah, maybe one day put a bigger turbo on it. Maybe, uh, you know, maybe uh, change up the tune on it a little bit, put some different injectors. There are some, some tuning stuff out there for these. And there's a huge aftermarket for these. I mean, there's so many things you can do to these cars. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> that was that was short shifting out of first and hitting second and it still went. 